McDonald's, known to both young and old, is a fast food chain that originates in America and now it's commonly found all over the world. There are more than 30,000 restaurants in the world, operating in over 100 countries. In Singapore, the first McDonald's restaurant opened in 1979. Now, there are 120 McDonald's island-wide serving 1.2 million customers each week. Other fast food restaurants like KFC, Subway, Starbucks can also be found worldwide. With globalization, McDonald's is able to find new markets overseas. They are also able to source for cheaper resources from all over the world. Another reason for the spread of fast food culture is the increase in disposable income. With urbanization, people living in the cities have better wages. Hence, they are able to purchase fast food meals as compared to cheaper local food. In addition, fast food restaurants adapt their menu to suit the culture of various countries. In France, McDonald's used the baguette, while in India, McVeggie caters to the large vegetarian population. So what is the fast food culture in Greendale? A survey among 75 Greendale students showed that while only 15% of students have between $20 to $40 pocket money each week, more than 75% spend between $5 to $15 each week on fast food. The survey also showed that most students prefer McDonald's, followed by KFC, and then Subway, which all can be found in Pongo Plaza nearby. Students also indicated they tend to go to these fast food outlets with friends from Greendale. Apart from having a variety of food choices and convenience, the spread of fast food culture has positive economic impact like employment. Do you know that McDonald's provide employment to more than 1 million people around the world? I'm sure some of you have worked or seen Greendale students working at McDonald's at the Pongo Plaza. Not only that, McDonald's rely on the local small and medium producers and manufacturers to supply them with the food and packaging needs. As such, the spread of global fast food restaurants also bring higher profits to the local businesses. However, there is a downside. Fast food culture is partly responsible for the increase in obesity around the world. Do you know that the Big Mac meal contains 1,080 calories, which is more than half of the calories you need a day, which means you need to do 3,000 push-ups in order to burn away the Big Mac meal. People have sued McDonald's for causing them to become overweight and incurring health problems like diabetes and high blood pressure. A prevalent fast food culture creates more health problems in a country. While fast food restaurants can bring business opportunities to locals, it can also be a source of competition. The presence of global coffee brands like Starbucks and McCafe saturates the local market and increases competition. It also reduces the demand for local coffee as younger generation may prefer the trendier option of cappuccino and frappes. What is lost is more than just businesses of the food industry, but the country's culture and heritage passed through generations. Have we all turned into Americans, eating burgers, fried chickens, fries, and drinking fraps? Will our children only recognize the golden arches? Or can they still understand when someone says, I want a kopi o siu dai? Will the local culture still remain?